all right guys <laughs> so yesterday i asked you guys to tell me where you're watching me from and like seriously over 500 comments i had the intention of replying you guys like every single person or i just click like but seriously the comments i wasn't expecting that much comment from a lot of people but all in all it's all about love and i'm so happy to see your comments i'm so so excited thanks to you guys for the love and everything i so much appreciate it now the reason why i put up that was because i got confused when i checked the statistics check the statistics seemed like you know many are watching from italy so i was confused but now it's confirmed that a lot of people are watching from italy you know most of them are from ninja but after ninja we have italy we have uk germany ghana france uae canada spain malaysia south africa netherlands belgium austria yeah i want to thank you all for the love and everything i'm so 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 excited and uh, let us get on to today's news welcome to my channel guys okay guys i want to welcome new subscribers if you're just watching the, me for the first time i'm sorry that's how we do it you know we start up the show by talking about something that doesn't even relate to what i'm about to say but after the intro you get the real news the reason why you're here first i want to talk about davido's 30 billion concert okay now i don't know if you guys want me to start off by talking about the good news or the bad news okay let me start off by talking about the good news about davido's concert now the good news about the 30 billion concert is that mohit was able to reunite he split since like 2012 and davido was able to bring that back on stage and we saw them live the band ikechuku one day cold dr seed k switch the prince all of them coming together on one stage embracing each other and singing you know their songs back then it was a painful split in 2012 and we are so happy to see them back together and davido said it took him like two months to get these people together <laughs> seriously a lot of people were excited to see Mohit back on stage and we can't even wait for them to you know put out a new song because the memories will always be there so that is part of the good news let me continue we have another good news Davido and Whiskey performed Maya together it has been love this past few months in the entertainment industry in Nigeria and you know it makes us feel good about the country yeah you know even with all the vices complaints we have something good to talk about our entertainment industry which is the pride of ninja so it's so so exciting to see love in the air and uh, let us first let us quickly watch Mohit's performance let us quickly watch it before we move on to the next news Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Black Street Boys. I'm down on bending me. Mama. So that is you know Moe's performance and I've talked about Whiskey and the video performing Maya on stage. Now the bad news. The bad news is David Do should have gotten a bigger space. He even made this known like he should have gotten a bigger space. A lot of people were left outside because there was no space for them anymore. I mean if you as an artist as a big 
artist in Nigeria, if you want to put out a show like that, you should look for a bigger space. You should expect more people. And the first time I watch, you know, some of the clips from the event, I was even surprised. Like, why would Davido go for a space like this? Even the stage wasn't big enough. And I wouldn't say I was disappointed. The venue is big, but not quite big. Like when it comes to who he is you know in the entertainment industry you should get a bigger space so i'm not blaming him for for that because you know it's not like something he's expecting but if you have thought about that i don't think you should have gotten you know that kind of space we have a lot of people in nigeria generally and lagos is jam-packed as well so half of the people in lagos want to see the video wants to go to his show want to see risky want to go for their show so you, you should know about that but that is not really the issue now the issue is twos the oap wasn't that cool with it like she wasn't pleased at all i'm a massive fan of the video but this concert is not well put together chaos i think she meant you know the crowd outside like a lot of people weren't able to get in let's quickly watch a clip uh it's first about 30 billion concert and you can see how many people there are outside they can't get tickets tickets have all been sold out and they're just hoping i don't know whether they're hoping for it to catch a glimpse of david or, or hoping to get a ticket but they're all here concert looks like it's going to be lit people have turned up on time nigerians are here early it's not an attribute of us Africans, but now we've done it today. Uh, it's first back. It's pretty bad for you to go for an event that you can't even get in, you know. And that is it, even when you have your money, it's not like you don't have the money to pay, but you have the money, but because of the space, it's a sold out show, no doubt about that. But you should have gotten a bigger, a bigger space for you. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about the video's concert. It's a massive concert, so, so amazing, awesome. And moving on, we have Kemi Olun Lawyer. Kemi Olun Lawyer speaks from Podakot Prison. She said, Wishing all HNN Africans a happy, a happy new year 2018 in advance thank you madam koo i'm still being held in Port maximum prison i'm in high spirit very soon nigeria will return to democracy madam koo for those of you that don't know this is uh, the daughter of, of former or your state's governor like i've always said this lady doesn't you know deserve something like this i think that she also used the connection but i think she's seen like a polygraph daughter so to speak and so that's why she's left to face the rot herself what she's trying to say about democracy is the way she's been treated like it's not like she's living in a country that has democracy and yeah she should have gotten out of this very long time someone in the prison she spent christmas in prison i mean how is it gonna feel you can't even spend christmas with your family because you're being held in a prison um it's pretty bad first she was detained for three months released on bail and rearrested on october 12th and since then she's been in the prison i think something should be done about this it's taking too much time okay guys let us move on to the next news at okay Macro put up something that more like a motivational speech online and fans are making fun of her i don't know why they're making fun of her but they don't really take the whole thing serious someone i love once gave me a box full of darkness which is you know a uh, estranged husband uh, ex-husband uh, it took me years to understand that this too was a gift was to live by was not entirely mine but they are words you need um, if judas did not betray christ scriptures will not be fulfilled judas had a part to play stop trying to change judas you need judas she has a lot of inspirational stuff you know she will just keep writing i checked comments here and a lot of people were they weren't feeling her and they were just you know blasting her instead let me just take few comments here i tell you motivational speakers yanning dust and some are blinding for the for the crap um another person here says this to care and uh -huh, you leave magic alone you have hurt so many people including friends all in the name of fame you will only be known as the slay mama who old married grandpa keep it moving your fame don't be expire and i think she's getting a lot of it because of what happened recently about our relationship with the old man that i talked about the old billionaire fatty 
and that is also part of the reasons why a lot of people just make jokes out of whatever she's putting out i guess she's quite serious about this but it's just jokes if you check out the comment section it's just jokes like all through seriously i don't know why it is like that so the last news for today fans blast skills over his new hairstyle he's had this hairstyle for for quite some time and for some reason fans just start throwing shots at skills someone will say um Biko, what kind of hairstyle is this another person here says sorry it's so limbo it looks so ugly you be like uno they eat money at all guy kick up your swag please change the air cut which kind of air style is that okay guys um let me know what you think about the air style in the comment section i also want to know do you think it's cool and also let me know what you think about the video's concept yeah i can't wait to hear from you guys thank you guys for watching until we we'll see you next time peace